what is up libra welcome to your general timeless reading these are general so please only take what resonates leave the rest check out your sun moon rising venus and jupiter placement on my channel these are also timeless so this could be something that you've already gone through something you're currently going through or something you're about to go through but this is also exactly when you're meant to see this right um if you want a personal reading or a reiki session please go ahead and book your personal reading or reiki session down below through my website in the description box i am a master reiki practitioner so i got clients all over the globe that i work with if you want more information on that it is all on my website and you can also email me through my website for any questions that you guys have right um like share subscribe give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel grow and i greatly appreciate it and if you want help on your spiritual journey patreon is definitely the platform for you i do a lot of mentoring on there throughout my readings that's also where i do the monthly readings energy shift readings moon cycle readings and weekly patreon only videos so check that out but libra let's get into it let's see what goodies we got for you guys i did change my setup so i got some cards all over the place here but Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on. That was my dog. So you heard that? That was my dog. <laughs> um, let's get started. Show me what I mostly see for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I did hear reconciliation. I don't focus on love for those of you who are new to the channel. It's just whatever you most need to hear, but we might get love. We are in Pisces season and we just had that new moon in Pisces, which is a lot about very uh, empathetic, deepening of relationships. It's also higher consciousness energy, so you might be getting a lot of spiritual reads um, in the coming weeks as well. Pay attention to your dream space as well. That's really going to intensify over the next few weeks. I highly recommend getting a dream journal. Start writing down even the little bits and pieces you remember if you're not remembering them much. I'm actually not going to take this. I don't like when they explode on the first card. For Libra, please. There we go. Yep. Eight of Wands. Sagittarius. I'm not taking this. But I saw justice right here. I'm not taking the rest. Justice really stuck out to me. That's your card. Eight of Cups and the Magician. I feel like this is you stepping into your power. Justice is your card. I feel actually communication with the Eight of Wands, which is really weird because Wands are fire energy. It's not swords, which is communication, which is mind, intellect. It's, it's, it, I just heard mercurial, which is which is communication, right? Um, Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, Justice, Libra, Eight of Cups. You have two eights, which is a very auspicious energy. It's a CEO energy. Eight of Cups. I feel like you're walking away from a situation. This is a very... I really, really like this because with the Magician and Justice, your Major Arcana card, this is an energy of really stepping into your personal power. I feel that you're walking towards something, though, or someone for yourself. I do feel you walking, I, I, it's almost like you're turning your back to a certain individual though. Like I feel like there's another energy here that's not showing yet. Like there's a certain person that's kind of like, I'm finally ready to disconnect from you. I'm finally ready to walk away from you. And I feel like it's taken you a while to do that though. We're not seeing them yet. They feel like a page. They really do for some reason. I don't know why. They feel very page-like. Page of Pentacles. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. There's the Three of Cups, the Soul Tribe. There's the Ten of Pentacles. Not a solid foundation. And the Five of Pentacles. Abandoning it. Yep, there it is. That's what you're leaving behind. There you are. <laughs> Found them. <laughs> yeah. Page of Pentacles. It's just old foundations. I don't. It's not that they're bad. It's not that there's anything toxic about them. It's just not stable. You're at, you're at two very different points in your lives. That's it. That's it. It's just an old soul tribe. It could be an old friend. It could be an old relationship. It could be somebody that you're holding on to out of familiarity. You're really stuck on. It could even be a habit for you, right? It, this does not have to be another individual. It could be a version of yourself that you're finally ready to let go of. It could be the fact that I was waking up at 10 o'clock every day and I have my own business to run and I really got to start waking up at 6 a.m. and being more diligent with my time and my practice and my self-care, etc., right? 
and stepping into a frequency that's more of a Three of Cups frequency, right? Three of Cups is a frequency of joy, of prosperity, of higher consciousness energy. It's abundance. It's not just speaking to soul tribes and reconciliation energy of that sort, right? You might have been thinking about fixing a foundation uh, with somebody for a really long time, but you finally accepted that this is a cycle that really needs to close and I need to walk away from, right? So take whichever message that resonates because we had like three different ones coming in there. So you're thinking about a reconciliation and accepting that it just needs to end. Others of you simply moving away from a soul tribe, friend, family, coworker, relationship, just because the foundation's not there. Others of you, it's an aspect of yourself and you're ending a habit or a way of being that's no longer serving you because it was keeping you in a scarcity mindset and stopping you from fulfilling your own legacy or achieving your 10 of pentacles. Right? Right. Very nice. Yeah, bottom of the deck, eight of swords. You've been thinking about this for a long time with the star and the two of cups followed by the sun and the ace of wands. Holy crap. Yeah, this was really stopping you from aligning with your highest truth. This is really stopping you from aligning with your path, with what's authentically meant for you. The two of cups isn't just about romance and love. It's also about aligning your masculine and feminine, your polarities. The sun's about attainment. It's about enlightenment, achievement, prosperity, love, ace of wands, the soul path card for me as a reader not just like passionate new beginnings it is the soul path card for me and the star is divine timing it's not just about hopes and wishes it's my divine time card and the eight of swords tells me that this is something that you've been really thinking about for a very long time should i do this should i do this it's almost like i'm ready to pull the trigger eight of swords tells me there's a lot of dwelling on it though you have three eights eight of wands eight of cups and the eight of swords on the table all of that amazingness that I just read is underneath this overthinking though. So we have to overcome the overthinking to achieve the rest of that. Just keep that in mind. It's not going to just be handed to you. You need to get out of the headspace, right? Okay. Um, let's get into your clarifiers. Let's use Cosmic Tarot. All the tarot decks I use are going to be linked down below. Really feeling cosmic tarot for you let's see what's going on for my fellow libras <sighs> the dynamics really pulling me the old dynamics really pulling me first um yeah let's let's close that cycle yeah i just heard close the cycle Okay, let's look at that first. Let's check that out. Usually I always go in order because my OCD, you know, I'm always pretty organized. My Capricorn rising, that's the best of me, you know, really want to go in order. But let's look at the Page of Pentacles because I feel like this is what's been holding you back. Or to word it correctly, it's what you've been allowing to hold you back, right? Because we're our own creator. We give our power to things. So... I gave my power to my bed. You know, I, I sleep a little too long sometimes. If that's if that's what you're giving your power to, it's what you're giving your power to, right? You just got to own it. Is that the reality of things? No, it's just me giving an example. I really don't. Like, I'm, I'm up and out and I got to go. King of Pentacles. Taurus energy. Yeah, it's been stopping you from building, from embodying your masculine energy. And you're reflecting on that. That's because the Page of Pentacles is my self-reflector card. You wanted to, you also wanted to build with this person. Yeah, King of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Emperor in Reverse. This individual, though, being a Six of Cups energy, this feels like a friend. It feels like two masculine energies that really wanted to work together with the Six of Cups, though. There was an imbalance exchange uh, between the two of you about what you wanted to create. And if this is your own energy, the past has stood in your way of embodying this emperor energy, right? It's almost like you're trying to level up, trying to embody this emperor energy for yourself because the emperor is divine masculine. It's what allows you to create, bring things into the physical. The feminine, the empress, is where you manifest ideas and thoughts from. So that's when you're manifesting like, I am abundant, I am successful. You're speaking and feeling it into existence. And then when it comes into the actual material world, that's through your masculine energy, the emperor energy. So for those of you where you're dealing with another individual, that imbalance between the two of you on what you wanted to build or what you were building together, that clashing of egos, that clashing of power, clashing of masculine energy, 
or just disagreement between the two of you or a lack of investment and balance of investment is what was stopping it from manifesting materialized, right? So let's look at the connection itself or if it's just an aspect of yourself, why it wasn't turning into the happy outcome that you wanted, right? Page of Wands in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, the souls weren't investing the same the same energy. The Six of Pentacles is that give and take. And the Page of Wands is the is the soul energy, right? It's the manifestation energy. That that was imbalanced. What each individual or each energy was investing was not giving the same equal amount. So since both people are not investing a balanced six of cups emotion because think about it if you're manifesting from your headspace and you're saying i am abundant but in your heart space six of cups right because practically you're saying i'm abundant six of pentacles but your heart's saying am i abundant though i really don't trust that money's always going to stick around emotionally you have a scarcity mindset you're neutralizing the manifestation which is why it's not coming in the material world so if one person is super confident king of wands the other person's really practical but somebody emotionally is a little shut down neutralizing right not really coming through so whatever you're trying to create together there was a clash there it also tells me that someone just was not investing the same as the other person and someone might have even been a little manipulative in order to get their way with the page of wands in reverse page of wands with the three of cups it was kind of like a ride or die energy. This person might have been someone that stuck around for a really long time with you and you hold on to them out of a sense of familiarity. Page of Wands in Reverse tells me that they might also have very selfish manipulative tendencies because the Page of Wands to me is a master manipulator card and the Six of Pentacles is almost like they do that out of a sense of greed. Like, well, I know you're always going to give to me because there's a sense of obligation from you to give to me because we're so close, because you, we are soul tribe. They take advantage of that, right? Or you take advantage of that because energy can be vice versa. So let's look at the connection itself or the foundation. Oh, way too much. Okay, you really want to come out. Seven of Cups and the Devil. Yep, toxic. You see, it's toxic. It's binding. It's an attachment. Codependent. Very codependent. That's why it's not stable. That's why it needs to go. Devil. Capricorn energy. Seven of Cups. Tor oh, almost said Taurus energy. Not Taurus at all. It is water energy. That is Scorpio energy. Let's look at the Five of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. This abandonment. This walking away from it. I'll take you because you want to come out. The moon. Yes, because now we see clearly Pisces energy. We understand now. We understand that it had to go. Yep, five of cups. So you have two fives. Adding up to a ten is cyclic energy. And also two fives indicative of double change, right? The need for change. Something had to change here as heartbreaking as it was because the five of cups is indicative of mourning. And you see that. It is hard to release this person because it is a strong soul tribe connection. But that connection has turned very toxic, codependent. Also turned into an attachment, but it was not stable. It was a five of pentacles, a five of cups, and a ten of pentacles in reverse. It wasn't something that was going to last the test of time, and it wasn't something that was making you happy. Okay, let's look at the eight of wands in reverse. Five of swords, another five, and the nine of wands. Yeah, there's going to be communication, because the eight of wands feels like, eight of wands traditionally in tarot is movement. It's very fast, rapid movement, right? So this could be somebody moving away, but it really feels more so like communication intuitively as a reader. And the five of swords to me is defeat, especially when it's in reverse. It's that feeling of defeated, getting over that feeling, especially with the nine of wands attached to it. It's someone who's tapping out, right? I no longer want to feel defeated. I do feel like someone's going to communicate. It's almost like it's, it doesn't feel like a breakup because it feels like two friends, but it's almost um, this energy of, I don't want to participate in this dynamic with you anymore. I'm done here. Please don't reach out to me anymore because this is toxic. This is my last straw for real. Delete my number. Delete me on social media. I'm going to block you on everything. It's not because there's any animosity. I just can't do this because it's not healthy for me and it's not healthy for you. Whether you see that or not, this is a both of our highest good. Toot -toot -toot. Let's look at justice. This sort of brings peace. Yeah, three of pentacles. You're going to start building for yourself. I'm going to start building an empire. Three of pentacles is Capricorn energy. That is the oldest earth sign. 
That is legacy energy. It does lead to a 10. Typically the eight only leads to a 10, but there, there's like this, um, there's this part of me that really wants to bring up the fact that Capricorn is the oldest earth sign. Like that's something that really lasts the test of time. Then we have judgment. Yeah, the soul's call and the 10 of wands. You're closing out massive, massive karmic energy because judgment is karma as well, right? Um, you're closing out really big karmic cycles by releasing this person, this circumstance or this aspect of yourself from your life. Beautiful. Hierophant, bottom of the deck. That means you're learning really big lessons as well. Karmic lessons. Very nice. Judgment, Pluto, Scorpio energy, Ten of Wands, Sag. Let's look at the Eight of Cups. What you're heading towards. They showed me the sun in my mind's eye. The world. Oh, I love it. More Capricorn energy. Saturn energy as well. Saturn's the master maker. Um, to me as a reader, I, I view Saturn as the master maker. I know a lot of people are scared of Saturn. Saturn's actually a very amazing planet. It's going to put a lot of restriction on you, but those restrictions, those challenges really help you to grow and evolve. It's obstacles that you're capable of overcoming. So it's put in your path. So you see how capable, how strong and how resilient you really are. So I love when the world shows up because it shows that you're overcoming, you're walking right through that, right? With the eight of cups. You're getting a lot of Capricorn energy, which is really nice. The Page of Pentacles, I feel like this is doubt though. Doubt of what you're going to be able to build in this new cycle that you're heading to. It's almost questioning uh, what you want to create for yourself with the Page of Pentacles. Because pages are students. I just heard curiosity as well. Not sure what you want to create for yourself. I'll take these two. Yeah, the Hermit in Reverse and Temperance. You don't need to create something right away. There's this sense of, yeah, Three of Cups as well. You want to rebuild your, your social circle, your tribe. You're also thinking, do I want to reconcile with this person? You're going to hit this place of almost feeling lonely, feeling isolated once you cut this tie. That's normal when you cut an energetic tie, especially a very familiar karmic partner, right? Because what's happening is you typically have a cord to them. So if you cut an energetic cord, not please do not do a cord cutting on yourself. Never do that. Just never do it because it's going to leave a hole in your own aura. It's actually going to create, it's going to manifest a physical pain. Uh, sometimes people get like actual stomach aches or you might have really bad headaches or physical pains like chest aches back aches like it's not fun please just don't do it because you need to go to gonna go to a reiki practitioner and it's just you're just gonna have this leaking hole of energy and then you can get attachments just don't do it just don't don't do it just don't do it i'm serious just don't do it okay it's just you're gonna create a mess you're gonna create a bigger problem that you just don't need to create just don't do it. Just go through the healing process like a normal individual and be proud of yourself for the healing that you're going to undergo because it's going to benefit you much more than trying to do a shortcut like cutting a cord, okay? Because if you're not really ready to cut that cord, guess what? It's going to come right back. Yep, because they come back like that, okay? Then that person's energy is still going to be there and you can cut it over and over and over again and it's always going to come back until you're genuinely ready to release it. That's how they work, okay? So, temperance and the hermit. There's this going within, wanting to reconcile with this old soul tribe energy with this individual because it's almost like this sense of feeling their energy gone because remember, they're the page of pentacles. Now that you feel the loss of their energy, now that you're walking away from them, there's this, but now that I don't feel them, I kind of want to reconcile. I kind of miss that energy. This is normal to feel that because it's almost going to feel like an aspect of yourself is gone. You just need to reacclimate to realizing what is your energy and what is their energy. Because remember, it was an attachment. It was binding. You're not accustomed to feeling your own individual energy. When you have a very binding connection like that, very toxic connection like that, when you finally feel released like that, it is going to be uncomfortable for a little bit because you got to basically react acclimate to what is yours and what was actually somebody else clinging to your energy and vice versa you clinging to theirs because there was this massive cord of attached energy being shoved back and forth between the two of you okay codependency you're safe you are safe you are safe you're whole you are complete say those affirmations to yourself okay Let's look at the magician because this is you realizing your personal power. Knight of Pentacles. I like that. 
Queen of Cups. There you are tapping into your feminine to heal the heart space, the vulnerability, and the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Creating the change. Creating the change in the movement for yourself. Because now you're realizing who you are, how capable you are to create this new reality, Wheel of Fortune, right? And move forward with strategy, with with a clear sight, clear intuition, because the Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy, is the most intuitive of the queens, right? Knight of Pentacles is the most practical, slowest moving knight in tarot, but it is the longest lasting investment when it comes to the knights, right? Because it's a Knight of Pentacles. It's tangible. It's something that, it's a seed you can plant that will last the test of time. So let's look at the Eight of Swords, what you are overthinking. Let's heard prosperity. That goes beyond money though. It does like prosperity can be in the sense of, it's almost like abundance, like wanting uh, abundance of love, abundance of joy, abundance of safety. Yeah, Four of Cups. Some of you are feeling that um, heart chakra opening. Four of Cups in reverse to me is being vulnerable. It's accepting love. It's like, this is frightening. It's scary for me to allow myself to feel so free, to feel so open right now because I felt so bound, so trapped for a long time within a toxic environment. And now I feel that I can finally come out of it. But am I safe to come out of it, right? Eight of Swords. Am I safe to release myself from these eight swords that have been surrounding me? And you are. And once you do, you get the star, the sun, all that beautiful stuff. Yeah, you get a six of wands and justice. You get victory and balance. Your card. You get your personal power. Libra energy. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But it's going to take going through the hangman, the in-between, which is also known as the dark night of the soul card and tarot, right? The hangman is about being between cycles. When you end one cycle, you're not immediately going to start a new cycle. There is an in-between, which is that recalibration of your energy, right? It's this moment of the world, the page of pentacles. Oh, I feel that I've lost their energy. Do I want to reconcile with them? This is the in-between. That's the dark night of the soul kind of moment. That little shakeup of, did I make the right decision? Am I really hurting right now? Do I really miss them? Or am I just missing what it felt like to have their energy on me? You're just missing what it felt like to have their energy on you. You're completely safe. You're completely fine. Everything's going to work out. You made the right decision, right? It's you needing to have the confidence in yourself that I'm a divine feminine. I'm intuitive. I trust in myself. I trust my intuition. I trust my choices. I am capable of creating my new reality. I'm moving in the right direction. I'm being fully supported by the universe. Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It's, it's prosperity. It's Jupiter energy. It's expansion. It's knowledge. It's higher consciousness. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. And it's leading you to victory. Six of Wands, justice, balance, your power. Libra, very nice. This is what I have for you. Very intense reading. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, like, share, subscribe. If you want a personal reading, go ahead, book it down below through my website in the description box. And if you want to check out Patreon, go ahead and check it out. I'd love to have you as part of our Patreon family for the monthly readings, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, and weekly Patreon-only videos. Other than that, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.